Hello everyone, so just going to do a quick update tonight on the uh, KBS Kempston Breakfast Stout. It's bottling time, so uh, yeah, quick update on that, how I'm going about bottling and uh, a little taste test. Right, so, as those who watched the last video will know, it has been sat in this pressure barrel for a few months doing a little bit of aging on some oak chips and bourbon. Uh, so that was just after Christmas, so it's been in there for um, just over three months, I think, and I've now basically siphoned it out of the keg into the bottling bucket and uh, primed it and it's ready to go into the bottles. So, before I talk about that, I think we need to, uh, yeah, give the tester a little go. So, um, yeah, as I said, probably sort of between three and four months since it was first brewed. Um, first of all, the smell, which I could tell as soon as I opened up the pressure barrel and started siphoning it out, is really close to what I remember KBS smelling like. So, just very rich kind of... Uh, chocolatey coffee kind of smell to it and yeah pretty much made me want to have a taste straight away so considering it's not even in the bottles yet I've got to say I'm pretty chuffed with that um, yeah it's rich quite smooth there's a little bit of um, that sort of roasty kind of astringency maybe a little bit from the oak as well but obviously it's got a lot of time yet in the bottle for that to fade plus um, secondary kind of conditioning in the bottle yeah nice sweetness to it but not too um, not too cloying kind of dries out a bit at the end very rich full of flavor so far so good so yeah I'll drink more of that in a bit in terms of bottling it I've got about 10 litres total into the bottling bucket now this was the bit where I had a little bit of a um, yeah wasn't sure exactly how to go about priming it because I've read a lot in the past about people having difficulties with priming um, especially the sort of stronger dark beers uh, and ending up with lots of overprimed beer, bottle bombs, that sort of stuff. I've had a little bit of that experience myself in the past with darker beers that I've made and I've left, um, you know, I've bottle conditioned, left in the shed for a while and a few months later I've come back and they're all, you know, basically beer fountains. The thing going against that in this case, or my theory is that having been in the pressure barrel for a few months and as I was actually releasing a bit of gas off of that as it was going along, I think, you know, if there is a little bit of kind of slow creeping kind of fermentation going on with the darker beers, that hopefully that will have happened in the pressure barrel already. So what I've done is basically primed it kind of to the rate that I normally would anyway, and I'm just gonna do this and say, hopefully it's not gonna be overcarbed. Um, the other thing that I've done is I have added a little bit of dry yeast into the bottling bucket just to um, as a bit of insurance in case uh, there's not enough yeast left in there so I know everyone always says you know there's going to be plenty of yeast floating around in the beer you don't need to worry about it uh, but it has had sort of three months um, in secondary effectively so uh, there can't be a huge amount of yeast floating around in there and bearing in mind how strong the beer is it's probably not the healthiest so just a little bit of insurance just chucked in half a packet of um, dried yeast uh, just standard ale yeast into there so hopefully with that priming sugar I've primed it to um, 1.9 volume so still fairly low in terms of carbonation kind of in the mid-range for sort of stout or porter carbonation um, it should be all right so yeah like I said fingers crossed we will see um, but I figured you know rather than having it I'd rather go sort of a little bit over than under on this one. Um, but time will tell. Anyway, I'm going to get on with the bottling and then I'll just show you all the bottles at the end once I'm done. 
Right, all done. So, just short of 30 bottles of the KBS clone effort, or Kempston breakfast stout as I'm calling it. All in the small bottles, because I'm not totally suicidal. Uh, apart from just one that I put into a pet bottle, mostly so I can just monitor the carbonation on that, and if they are getting a bit scary, can maybe do something about it before they start exploding on me. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Um, as I said, tasting pretty good at this point, but um, I don't think it will be too long before I have a sample once it's uh, carved up because it's uh, yeah it's been a few months already and um, tasting pretty good. So I reckon as soon as there's a bit of carb on those bottles, I'll be coming back with a uh, an early taste test of video again. So. Yeah, as I said, fingers crossed these don't either end up completely flat or um, massively overcarbed and exploding in the uh, in the cupboards. Um, but we shall see. All right, cheers, guys, and uh, I'll see you soon. I'm the dude, so that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or, uh, you know, El Duderino.